Hello everyone, and welcome back to my little YouTube channel. For today's video, we are doing another variation of our Doty Dots. This is going to be a another mask uh, look. Um, even though right now we don't really have to wear masks everywhere, um, right now for my own health reasons, I am still wearing one, so I am still doing makeup uh, to complement the areas of the mask that you can see, as opposed to the parts that you can't. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off with a nice, clean face. Um, and just to make sure I got all of my makeup off from earlier that day, I'm gonna just be using some baby wipes and I'm gonna be using this to get any extra makeup or dirt off of my face. Um, I was wearing different makeup earlier in the day, so I went ahead and I just wash my face but I wanted to make sure I got all of the extra makeup off so I'm using my baby wipes to get that all off next I am going to be using some toner I'm just gonna be spraying this on a cotton round and using this to get any extra oil off of my face that the baby wipe did not pick up once I get a nice, uh, even skin tone that's nice and clean, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some skincare. I'm gonna use uh, my Milk Cold Press under my eyes to kind of fix those bags that I have that are very, very big. And of course, I want to put on some lip balm. Even though I don't wear lipstick when I wear face coverings, it's always important for me to hydrate my lips because it does get very drying under my mask, so I always like to pop on some. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add on some moisturizer. Um, this is just a little sample moisturizer I got in an Ipsy bag a while ago, um, and I'm just trying to go through all of the different products that I got. So I'm just going to be putting a couple dots on my fingers and then working this into my skin so I have a nice even and plain surface to work with now we are going to be mostly doing our eyes but i like to make sure that my skin is well taken care of as well since it is going to be under a mask for majority of the day next i'm going to put on some eyeshadow primer um this is my urban decay eyeshadow primer in sin and i'm just adding some small dots to my eyelids and then i'm going to be using a flat shader brush to go ahead and evenly work that onto my eyelids so we have a nice good base to work with once i even it out i'm going to go into my too faced natural eyes palette but any neutral toned eyeshadows will work for this i'm going to be using a tan color this is very similar to my skin tone i'm going to be using this as a transition shade from my outer corner and i'm going to work it in my uh, inner corner making sure we're getting a nice even and well blended look next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker uh, brown color and I'm gonna be just concentrating this on the outer corner and working it a little bit into my inner corner making sure to blend it really well. This is gonna add a little bit more dimension to the look and kind of bring a little bit more depth back to my eyes so they don't look so flat. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with a very dark brown, also matte, and we're gonna be putting this on the very outer corner there, again, just to add a little more dimension. Now, no look is complete without a little bit of shimmer, so we're gonna go in with this very pretty champagne color and we're gonna add this to the very center of our lids to kind of bring a little bit of pop of color and to bring a little bit of shimmer to, your, to the eyes as well. Now for the inner corner, I'm gonna be using this really pretty gold and I'm gonna be using a very flat and fine brush to add this to the very inner corner so that my eyes look a little bit brighter and a little bit more awake. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using this really fun um, eyeliner. It is a stamp eyeliner. So here I am just practicing a couple stamps. Um, and I'm just going to line it up on the outer corner of my eye and stamp it on, making sure that I get the full 
uh, length of the stamp and then I'm going to be going on the other side which has a nice fine uh, felt tip and I'm going to be filling in the rest of my eyeliner and elongating that end wing a little bit so I get a nice long and very dramatic wing at the end. Next, I'm going to go in with um, my next dot uh, liner. It is literally a little ball at the end, uh, and this is me just testing it out, making sure that it is working well. And I'm going to be adding my little doty dots underneath my eyes on my lower lash line, trying to line it up um, at the center of my eye, making sure they're even. Now again, as I said last time, I am trying to experiment with my eyebrows, so here are some stencils that I bought and then I'm going to line it up to my natural brow as best I can to kind of get a, at least a basis for a shape. Um, and then I'm going to just fill in the outline with the eye with the, uh, excuse me, the eyebrow pencil, um, and then I will be filling it in, but I'm going to line both of them first and then I'm going to fill them in and then blend them out. Now here I am just filling in my brows. I'm trying to just fill in the areas that I have kind of some patchiness in my eyebrows to begin with. Um, I've never really had an issue with my eyebrows. I, I just, you know, apparently it kind of helps with the overall makeup look. So that's why I've been trying to practice doing them. Um, I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but um, yeah, so I, First I fill them in and then I use the little brush to brush it out to blend the product and then any missing like spots like here and on the other side I go ahead and I fill in and then I blend it out again. Now once I get the brows how I want them I'm going to go ahead and do some mascara just combing generous amounts through my top and bottom lashes. And that is the completed look. This is what the eyes will look like close up. And they're very nice and simple, super easy, and very neutral. They're very fun. And then the next thing you just gotta do is pop on your mask if you are still deciding to wear one. And then that is it. I wanna thank you guys all so, so much for watching. And make sure you head on down below and hit that big red subscribe button, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up so that I know to continue making content just like this one. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.